welcome back to the attic. Uh, this week I decided to make the shrink ray from Outer Worlds. I mean, this project incorporated a lot of different skills. We have a laser cut sign that we made for it, a laser cut stand, we have a 3D model that we found, we have resin casting that we've done. And it's really cool! Hmm? <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> we found a 3D model on Thingiverse and printed it out. Once it was printed, I went through the process of sanding and prepping the body for filler primer. I used UV resin to help fill the layer lines because it cures very fast and is quickly sandable. To make the glass dome, we took the model and attempted to make a two-part mold. We have never done this before and learned quickly that it's harder than it looks. We forgot to add baby powder in between the two layers and they ended up fusing together. This mold still worked, just with a little extra effort. We will get back to the casting later in the video. Once the filler primer was on the body, I sanded more to even everything out. I used 5 minute epoxy to attach the pieces together and used rubber bands to clamp it all down because it is an awkward shape. So I've got the gun glued together. Now what I'm going to do is actually fill in this middle section where the seam is across the entire thing. It just needs to be uh, flush together, so what I think I'm going to do, like I did on the rest of the body to sand the whole thing, I'm going to apply a layer of UV resin, sand it back, and then possibly spray it with some filler primer, see how that goes. The UV resin has been doing a really good job of actually hiding all the, the layer lines, so I have a feeling it will probably do a very similar effect and be able to hide it pretty well. After all the body work was done, I spray painted the entire body silver and started to mask for the red paint. After the two main body colors were done, it was time to weather the entire piece. 
The shrink ray from our reference photos was pretty beat up, so we wanted ours to match. So when I made the model for, for the glass dome, I didn't do any processing to this, which is really stupid, uh, because inside the model you have all the layer lines that you can actually see. So I've done a couple different tests with a couple different materials. This first one was made from Smooth On 325. I put a little bit of pigment powder in it because I wasn't sure how clear it would be, how much the pigment powder would affect it. And I really wanted to get this kind of a weird effect to it, but it turned out being way too opaque, so this was not going to work. The next one I did was just try to do that same plastic, completely clear, no additives to it. And it's a, a surprisingly yellow pigment to it, naturally. So that's already not the right color that I want. I really wanted something that was a lot more optically clear. So I decided, after reaching out to a bunch of makers on Instagram, uh, to just go with Alumilite in the pressure pot to get rid of all the bubbles. It looks foggy right now because I've been sanding through the grits. I'm at 220 right now. But if you look down the little filler holes, it's actually completely clear inside. So I'm way more optimistic about this than any of the other ones. I just have to sand away the layer lines and polish it up. effects we used UV pigment powders and UV resin to make the piece glow in the dark. This saved us from having to need to use electronics in the build. I finished off the piece by gluing it all together, making the plaque with the stats, and giving it the proper base from the game. This is so cool! 